Dry or don't repeat yourself is an approach in programming to write efficient code. The code that automates, where possible, reproduce the result and easy to follow by yourself in later days as it could become challenging to understand your code if it was not properly coded and documented and also for your colleagues to understand. The focus of dry is to avoid repetition. Why is it important? Let's try an example first to see why we need this approach. Suppose you are interested in buying stocks and you would decide based on one year target price estimate. We can get this estimate from Yahoo Finance. If the one year target price is higher than current price, you will consider buying it. So to get this price in Python, I'm using the Yahoo Fin package to help me pull out this target price from Yahoo server. I am first installing and then importing Yahoo Fin package and pandas. Don't worry if the code does not make sense or hard to understand. We will have a detailed lecture to understand how to get stock data from Yahoo Finance using various packages. At the moment, I would like you to focus on the point of don't repeat yourself. Let's say the stock you are interested in is Microsoft. The symbol or ticker is MSFT. To pull out information from the Yahoo server, we will need short symbols rather than company's full name. Here is the code to call Microsoft one year target price estimate. Press run and wait for a few seconds. And now let's print. The target price is 273.43. Let's check this on Yahoo Finance website. It's same price, great. That is good. Without going to Yahoo Finance website, we got our desired data. But what if we have more than one stock? So to compare and find the best stock. One way of doing it is like this. A separate line for every stock. Say we have four stocks. Apple, Tesla, Australian stock Woolworth with the symbol WOW, Barclays which is a London stock exchange listed bank. We can type all four stocks and run and we get all four desired target prices like this. That was okay. Even we repeated typing the same code four times. But what if we have 100, 200 or the entire S&P 500 stock index? Typing or copying pasting 500 line is very daunting and not a good idea. Imagine how long your code would look like for 500 lines of code. There is an easy solution to this. I will write all my symbol names in a list. And only in four lines of code, I will get all my desired stock target prices. Let's run and print. Here you go. All desired stock target prices. And if you want to add more stocks, just add the stock symbol in the list and run. So you have just seen that you can avoid repeating yourself by writing one line for each stock. This makes code not only easy to understand by the reader, but to edit in the future. Python provides three ways to achieve the dry approach. These are functions, conditional statements or if and else statements and loops. Combinedly, they refer to as control flow. We will continue learning in details each of the control flow in coming videos.